What's up guys? Today is a very exciting day in the Book Moto universe because today we are going to focus on fixing the interior here. So uh, just a couple things that need to happen here. I'm very excited to do it. Uh, we need to hook up the key and we need to hook up this piece here. So actually it shouldn't be too hard. I've already got the wire started right here. I just need to splice in some more wire and go up into these two spots here. Um, so that should be pretty easy. Okay, so now we're gonna start in on this side. We're gonna hook up the forward reverse switch as well as the key switch here. I'm gonna tap into the existing key wiring. I've already determined that it's the uh, yellow with black stripe and green. So I'll just cut those and splice them into the wire around here but the rest of the wire is going to go to this switch here. So that's what we're going to work on now. Same as before. Tune the wire tips, bring them together, all that good fun stuff. How hard could it be? I love that I'm doing this like on the floor of their thing and God forbid should I drop the iron. It would burn a hole in there. Poor little carpet here. Everybody, meet Cotton. Cotton, how did you escape? I gotta go get him in a minute here. And then the final step, let's see, is to mount it right back there. Okay, that's done. Okay, I don't know if anyone's going to find this therapeutic, but here's me splicing together two wires. We'll just cut, cut, start to work it. Okay, quick update. We stripped the wire and now we're just going to tin the tips and solder it together. Sometimes people like to watch other people work, so here you go. Cool. I don't really have a good way to do this. I don't know how other people do this. But basically, I need to start bringing these all together. So let's rotate it so it's more or less in line. Cool. And then. Okay, now this is part is going to be weird. I'm going to try to get these on one at a time. So I'm going to do that by unsoldering. Ah, 
I can't believe I got it. Apologies for the delay. I'm gonna just go ahead and heat shrink that sucker in place right now. Sweet. Okay, there's one. And then the last step here, all like that. Gotta yeah, shrink that and then bring this over. Cool. Okay, and now that that's shrunk, bring this guy over. Cool. All right, and done. quite as flexible as other areas but it'll work okay so now we got a wire in the key it's these two wires here the brown wire here and the red wire on the other side and since they're on opposite sides I guarantee this isn't the best way to do it but I cut off a piece of um, the shielding here and I figured maybe I could just pop it right back over when I'm done since these are on opposite sides very low likelihood that they'll touch each other so let's I don't know let's give it a try let's see what happens perfect okay great let's do it so I'm going to start by just shaving the brown wire here Are there may be a better way to do this this is what I this is what I'm come up with of course I'm cutting towards myself Definitely one way to do it of the fact that there's 51.5 volts going through here I would rather it be scaled down but look I didn't design the thing I just install it so 
and hats off to Thunderstruck Motors. They do a hell of a job. This was a hell of a design. So look, I'm just going to wrap this, get some duct tape out, and call it, call it a day. I think we'll open one of these up like this. I wish there was a way to put shrink wrap on over like you know I think it's called electrical tape but I just wish there was a way to like wrap electrical tape around and then heat gun it good old electrical tape <sighs> savior among saviors Are you ready? We're going to turn the key and we should be hearing a nice chunk come from the back. Let's give it a go. Uh oh. I did not hear a nice chunk. Well, let's troubleshoot this sucker. My word. Okay, forgot to record, but I wanted to show you guys what this is. This is a uh, driveway protection. It took me a minute to figure out what it is. So in the charging unit here is a normally closed switch. So how do I use that? So what I did was I wired in here. I'm coming to the other side here. Okay, so, so this wire here, and I can see I need to use a heat gun right here. So this wire here goes to my uh, to my key switch here, right? So I I spliced in to the key switch here here and ran that. So normally it's closed, right? So normally that means the key switch is the switch. But when you plug in the charger, what it's going to do is it's going to interrupt this connection, therefore interrupt the switch. Therefore where you won't be able to start the vehicle when it's charged. So drive away protection. So let's test it out here real quick. One eternity later. Okay, then we should go turn the key and there should be a nice satisfying kachunk from the contactor. Here we go. There it was. All right, okay, so I put the camera down. I just wanted to plug these in without uh, dropping anything. Okay, so we should be ready here, right? So it goes to the driveway protection switch and normally closed, so it's just coming right back. So it's a, it's, these two are normally connected. And then goes to the key switch. So when I turn the key switch, we should hear the ka-chunk of the contactor. Check, turn it off. Okay, cool. So the contactor's on. Now let's see what happens when we plug in the vehicle. It should interrupt. And I notice this guy's fussy in that if I plug it in while the switch is on, it doesn't usually work. Okay, I just heard the contactor turn off. This guy turned on. It has some startup problems. I don't understand why. So let me restart. Let me turn this off. Turn it back on. Okay, and there it goes. I don't know why it has problems getting hot plugged. Yes. 
EMCC is just not like being hot plugged here. Okay, so it works. So this guy's on. There we go. It's phase yellow, which means it's between 80 and 100 percent. So it's charging. It's doing its thing. Contactor is off. Put in reverse. Test that theory out. Yeah, nothing. Great. Then, let's see, unplug it. That's interesting, it's still flashing here. There we go. Contactors just engaged. Light came on. Wow. Very cool. So there it, there it is. Drive away prevention. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. And more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.